Welcome to SEMA 2015 in Las Vegas. I'm John Shapiro, editor of Cruising Times TV and Cruising Times Magazine, and we're going to take a look inside the largest exhibition of speed equipment and automotive exhibits anywhere in the world. Come on inside, let's take a look. First, let me explain what SEMA is. It stands for Specialty Equipment Market Association, and it's comprised of exhibitors, vendors, buyers, and the media. So there's more than 2,000 exhibitors having their boots on display, 60,000 qualified buyers, and these are from automotive shop owners, parts stores, both national, regional, and local, and they're looking to buy product from these exhibiting vendors, as well as a huge new product display that you'll be able to see. And then there's 3,000 qualified media outlets. That includes us, like magazines, TV, web-based outlets, and not just from the U.S., but they're from all over the world. SEMA is, though, I want to make this point clear, it's a trade show only industry event, not open to the public, not open to consumers. It is open to the general public on a Friday afternoon from 3 to 10. It's called SEMA Ignited. You'll see cars like this outside only. You won't be able to get inside, but it's a giant cruise party. 20 buck entry fee, ticket price, includes a, a giant drifting arena. Now this is, what you're looking at, is in front of the convention center. And you'll see all sorts of cars competing in that. It's all surrounded by builder cars, a midway of vendors, both off-road, hot rods, sport compact. Uh, uh, then there's the giant cruise along the road out in front on late Friday uh, evening. It's called uh, SEMA Ignited, as I mentioned before, and it's in front of the SEMA Convention Center. Believe it or not, it's on a road called Paradise Road, which is kind of like taken from American Graffiti. But right now, let's go inside. Look at some of the vendors. Paradigm, right here in Cleveland. Well, not here in Cleveland. We were, uh, you flew in together. But, uh, Fred, tell us about, I mean, you're making fans over here. This is cool. We're part of our cooling theme. Let's cool the car down with one of these fans. Well, thanks, John. Uh, cooling is our game. We are all about uh, keeping your engine cool, and, and occasionally we're all about keeping your cab warm with our heater line as well. So, Well, let's do the fans first. Uh, we're talking all sorts of applications from any muscle car classics to street rods, tight situations. Let's try it. Let's tell us about that. Sure. Uh, basically, our line starts off with uh, uh, 16 inch single fans, which are probably our most popular. They go in a variety of street rods, muscle cars, basically anything that radiators that are up to 22 inches wide. And what kind of CFM there? Oh, we'll give you over 2,000, but really, most fan manufacturers uh, rate their fans at zero inches of static pressure. That's just like holding a fan up in free air blowing. That doesn't tell you what it pulls through the radiator core, which is really what you want to know. On our website, all of our fans are rated through a full uh, ra array of static pressures, so you can see how much CFM at what static pressure. We figure most radiators are about 0 0.4 inches of static pressure, and you look at that rating, you'll know exactly how much your flow is. I notice there's an on and off button. Let's let's fire this baby up. Okay, let's okay, do go it. Go ahead. That's bringing, I mean, we just sucked half the booths here at SEMA. <laughs> well, we could try the dual fans on the other side, and I could blow uh, all of our uh, signage down. Let's talk about maybe a street rod application where you're putting fans, a pusher and a puller in a deuce radiator, let's say, or deuce frame grill. Sure. sure. What is uh, paramount to those guys is the height of the fan right here, from the bottom of the fan to the top of the motor. On this, this one here, which is my Champion Series fan, 16 inch M162K, we're only 3.19 inches tall, which gives you uh, maximum uh, airflow, over 2,000 CFM, and it also gives you the, the thinnest profile while still moving the most air. Because as you know, nobody has that original four cylinder engine in that 32 Ford street rod. Nobody, just about. Let's talk about, you were talking about heating now. Wait a minute, you got a small bunch of heaters over here. I sure do. And you know, who doesn't want to drive their baby in the winter time when, and you know, they don't have the Especially in Cleveland, heater. right? <laughs> that's right, it gets cold. For a Christmas cruise. That's very good, yeah, I can't wait to be in that. So let's go over here and see the heaters. 
tell us about this now. Easy install into a, maybe a, a Model A or a sure, B? Sure, we, uh, it'll go into Model A's. We, we have a variety of different uh, areas to mount it under the dash, against the firewall, maybe the sidewall. We have different bracketry. We also have uh, defrost ducts and hose uh, kits for you. They all come with a three-speed switch, or uh, in the case of uh, the Santa Fe heater, it's a two-speed built-in switch so you can control the amount of heat that's going in your car. That is always a problem with a three rod. You can you can sort of keep warm but that windshield gets awfully uh, you know it needs a defroster. Right and and you, a defroster does make it very nice. All right for more information let's give it a phone number and a website. All right so for more information uh, call us at 800-403-7953 or visit us at Meridine hp for high performance.com